Hey, what's going on everyone? appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all some things that I just recently discovered after playing for about 3,000 hours. I'm just going to be rounding it up to 3,000 because it's just about there for my playtime. Hopefully, these things that I do show you all in this are something new to you. And hey, feel free to share something new that you might have discovered recently after playing for your amount of playtime. What you share might be new to others that are just reading the comments and to me too. You never know. And if you do find this kind of content enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always though, that's totally up to you if you want to take the time to do so. Just leaving a reminder here in the beginning. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. So I guess first thing I'm going to be showing y'all is uh, the proof over how much hours I have spent into this game. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in the game and to figure out how many hours you have played, all you gotta do is just go to challenges and then go down to character. As you see, one of the challenges is to play for 7600 hours and you get rewarded 760 atoms, which it used to be you only earned 20 atoms, so Bethesda did up it to 760, which is nice at least it's no longer 20 but still that is pretty low anyways yeah as you can see i played 2942 hours not exactly 3000 but we're just about there so figured i'd make a video over some of the new things that i have discovered in the game from playing this much and once again hopefully some of these are new to you as well first one i'm gonna be getting into is a bartender talking about us being in a simulation we can find this bartender from vault 76 down here at Big Ben Tunnel West. It's the Blue Ridge Caravan uh, bartender that actually tells us about this. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on over there. So once here, we can find the bartender over here through the gates. It'll be located in this house, the Blue Ridge office. Once inside, check out what he says if we ask him, have you heard any rumors lately? Take your pick from Herschel's curated liquors of choice comprised entirely of whatever I happen to find today. Let's go ahead and ask Herschel Klein here, have you heard any rumors lately? Rumors? What do I look like? Some kind of barkeep? I mean, I am, but really, do I look like one? I'm trying to keep my style a little fresh. All right, so that's not the rumor that I'm wanting to share with y'all. Let's go ahead and ask him again. Here's one I heard. We're all just living in a simulation. That's right, none of this is real. Die here, and you'll just wake up in a memory lounge somewhere in Hoboken, New Jersey. To be honest, I'm not sure which reality is worse. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. A lounger in New Jersey, huh? Who knows, maybe in the future uh, there might be an add-on for Fallout 76 that will dig a little deeper at this simulation theory. Or maybe in Fallout 5, I don't know. It's interesting though that he says that we'll wake up in a lounger in New Jersey. New Jersey, huh? Why, why that specific? Um, yeah, yeah. Leave poor old Herschel to slinging schnapps. Go on then. Um, but yeah, anyways, to further get into this simulation theory, I'm going to show you all some other things. Now, I didn't just recently figure out these, but I would like to share it with you all because it goes with what this bartender is telling us here. Um, these next ones I want to show you all says nothing is real in random places around the game. And you know how he just mentioned how nothing is real here in 76. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to these. Okay, so from where we just was at Big Ben Tunnel West, over here next to the Garahan Mining Headquarters and the Garahan Estate and whatnot, we can find uh, something written on the wall over here by the uh, monorail. And you can build a camp here too. Uh, just throwing it out there if you want. But yeah, as you can see, it's stated on this wall, nothing is real with a skeleton nearby, as well as some paint. And there's also a skeleton up here too. And you can loot a lot of this. So, yeah. If you need some bones, this is a place to go. But yeah, very interesting. This is one, nothing is real. There's another one that we can find over in Watoga High School, which that's located right over here. 
around Watoga. Watoga High School is right here. Let's go ahead and head on in there. So once over here, we just want to head on inside. Alright, so once inside, there will be quite a bit of enemies, as most of you know. But we can find nothing is real located right over here, inside this art room. I already took out the enemies. But yeah, the nothing is real sign will be located in this room on this canvas, as you can see. Once again, also, there's a robot down here named Vincent, too. But, yeah, pretty interesting. That's the second nothing is real that you can find. The third one that I know of in Fallout 76 will be located right over here at Fort Defiance, which this is an insane asylum as well. So, you know, someone writing nothing is real inside this place could have been just simply insane. Then again, this person could have figured out something that nothing is actually real in Fallout 76. All right, so once in here, you just want to head this way. There will be tons of enemies around in this area. It's actually a great place to get a bunch of experience. Tons of ghouls you can find in here. But I specifically just want to show you this nothing is real in this one, too. So, yeah, down here, in this room, we can find, yet again, nothing is real, wrote right on the wall. Now, this guy that was in here could have figured out something that, you know, most of the people didn't know about, and it did make them you know, go insane. That's why he was placed in this insane asylum. And then again, he could have just been an insane person. I don't know. But still, nonetheless, you can find three uh, nothing is real wrote around the game. Which is pretty odd. But, yeah. Interesting still, nonetheless. This next thing that I wanted to show you all also goes with the simulation theory. This one will be located down in the Enclave Bunker. Which, by the way, what I'm about to be showing you isn't something new to me. But I figured I'd share this in this video because it might be something new to you. And it goes along with the simulation theory. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head on over here to the White Spring service entrance over at the White Spring Resort. This is just a faster way to get to what I'm wanting to show you all in the Enclave Bunker. I'm just going to head on inside and use this hand scanner, which by the way, if you don't know how to get into the White Spring Bunker, I'll have a link in the description below to a video that I made over how to gain access to this place, and it'll also teach you how to nuke as well. So if you don't know how to nuke in Fallout 76, I go through every quest that you need to go through to unlock nuking in the game. So feel free to check that out once again. It'll be in the description below. It's a long video, but there's a lot of information in it. Definitely recommend it. All right, so we're in here. Now we just want to go down. There. And then once we're here, we want to go over to communications. And right here, we can find the military wing. Then we just want to go up to command, which in that video that I just told you all about, it'll teach you how to gain access to this place too. But yeah, back here on this archive terminal, we can find something extremely interesting. If we go to data archives, and then we want to go to the presidential archive right here, titled Thomas Eckhart. Once on this, we just want to go down to slaves. Now this is when it gets even more interesting about the whole simulation theory. Check this out, listen into this. Secretary Eckhart, please, you need to listen to me. None of the other members will take me seriously, but I believe this is of the utmost importance. We are slaves, Mr. Secretary. I've been running some tests and I believe I've stumbled upon what I believe to be conclusive evidence that we are trapped, playing someone else's game. Virtual strategic solutions game, that is. Everything around you, Mr. Secretary, is a simulation, a projection onto your brain. VSS, once again, Virtual Strategic Solutions, that's what uh, VSS is, has trapped us in here, and it is up to us to break free. The key to our escape, I believe, lies in a small town in what we perceive to be China. It's the link to VSS, external network. If we destroy it, it will shut down the simulation and I believe finally be free. 
I cannot tell you exactly why we've been imprisoned. Perhaps this is a test by the upper ranks to make us earn our way into their good graces. Perhaps VSS has trapped us in here to prevent the Enclave from stopping whatever nefarious acts they are currently visiting upon the world in our absence. But we must do something, Mr. Secretary. To fail to act is to give up the only thing that makes us men, our freedom. Crazy. The bartender mentioned that we would wake up in a lounger in New Jersey. This guy who was telling Thomas Eckhart, who was the president of the Appalachian Enclave, that it's in China. So they don't really add up there, but nonetheless, this is extremely interesting to think about. Unless China has like something secretive going on over in New Jersey or something, then those two could connect. But either way, it's something interesting to take in. The bartender heard about the theory, and this guy that was telling the president of the Appalachian Enclave that they're in a simulation. I don't know how exactly he figured out this information, but he was telling everybody and everybody was just taking him as a joke. Whether or not he actually did figure out something, I don't know. I mean, it's an interesting theory. At the moment, there's no full proof uh, that we are in a simulation in Fallout 76, but would help possibly more with the lore, I think. It would help connect a bit more for the game itself with some things that don't really make much sense. Nonetheless, something interesting to take in for all of the lore. Alrighty, so next up, I wanted to show y'all what this named robot says over at Freddy Fears House of Scares. Which you can find that location right here on the map. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. Alright, so once over here, we can find the robot right here in front of Freddy Fears. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what it says sometimes when you go to interact with it. Go, go look around do you really think this is real <gasps> so yeah that robot has a lot of dialogue but as you heard one of the things that it says is do you really think this is real which seems like a nod to the simulation theory but yeah that's all i wanted to show you with the simulation theory now i'm going to be getting into something that a youtuber that goes by gamer mom over 50 taught me i actually saw one of her videos and just recently figured out about this thing that's in the game and she learned what I'm about to be showing y'all from a youtuber that goes by blue Cthulhu so I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description to both of their channels if you want to check them out so yeah let's go ahead and get into this first things first we want to head on over to Huntersville and pick up a key that we can find over here this key has something to do where where we're about to be going over at Sugar Grove and by the way, over at Sugar River, we're going to have to pick up another key, too. But the first one will be located over here at Huntersville. Alrighty, so once over here, uh, I know it is dark in the game at the moment, but we're going to be looking for a blue house with a red star on it. We're able to find a secret key over in the second story of this house. And this house is located straight through this chaotic area here and right here. So... Yeah, I just teleported to Huntersville, went through this chaotic area here, which, by the way, you can just open this up. I just jumped over it just because I got the marsupial mutation. But, yeah, inside this house here, we can find a key hidden right up here underneath this bed frame. So let's go ahead and take this key. As you can see, it's labeled cell key W9FC. This will make more sense when we get to the next area. So now we're going to be wanting to head on over to Sugar Grove, which is located right here on the map, next to the Big B. Oh, taking damage. I'm in custom world, so I don't really take damage, but I'm getting shot at. All right, this should be far enough away. Okay, now let's head on over to Sugar Grove. Once again, located right by the B. All right, so we're over here at Sugar Grove. Let's head on inside the building over here. I am getting lit up. All right, so once in here, a uh, little bit of lag there. Just want to head past this, head down this staircase here, and you'll eventually find this room right here the defcon room and once you get here you just want to head over into this area where you can find a bunch of hardware at 
and there's a secret key right back here in this corner it'll be located in this box here as you can see it's the black site guard key so let's go ahead and take that now we're able to use this black site key on something in the back of this place so I'm just going to fast travel back to this place and it'll take me outside of it that key is definitely easy to miss so yeah I'm back outside of Sugar Grove now I'm just going to head in the back of it so let's go ahead and do that back here there will be a couple pests to take on and a locked door it's going to require you to hack the terminal to get in so yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick bam bam alright so now we got the door unlocked let's head on inside here alright so now that black site guard key that we just got from inside entering sugar grow regularly uh, we can now use to unlock this door right here so let's go ahead and use it on this and down here it seems like was for prisoners down here I mean you know the key itself was labeled black site guard key so there was a guard guarding the prisoners that were down here in these cells there are tons of cells down here that we can find and a lot of them require keys um, to unlock which one of the cell keys that we just got from Huntersville we can use on this door right here and yeah inside here you can find some loot nothing too crazy I think we can unlock this one Oh no, we're going to need cell key V5XF, which I'll be showing you where all the other cell keys are at. Some of these will just require the black site guard key to unlock down in here. But interesting enough, this location itself I missed in the game for the longest. I didn't learn about this until recently. So, let's see, what does this require? A6KH cell key, what is this one? B9AX cell so key. I mean, as you can see, there's plenty of loot around in this place, too. This one requires the black site guard key, which seems like a bunch of loot that we can get in here. Oh, huh. there's a fusion core in here. Cooler. Uh, safe, too. Oh, I don't got bobby pins. But you get it. You can see it. You can go and loot it after watching this video. Heck, you can just go and explore this place. Maybe share this with some of your buddies online or something. Maybe they didn't know about this place and they love learning about new areas in the game. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you all where the other keys are at. Oh, there's another safe too that you can loot. Once again, I don't got any bobby pins on me on this character, unfortunately. But yeah, plenty of random loot that you can get from down in here. I guess this is where some of the guards were hanging out at. Because there's a pistol right here with some ammo. Must have been where the guards slept at. Man, these prisoners down in this area had to do something really crazy because this is like a very hidden prison facility. But anyways, yeah, we can find the other cell keys right here, as you can see. Three of them located right here on this. And the other uh, key will be located right over here on this. And once again, more loot too that you can take. Hallucinogen gas canister. What was going on in here? I wonder why this was called Black Site. It's interesting that this place was called Black Site. And the guards had to guard this place. Seems like some kind of experiments were being done here. Huh. 
Huh. Very weird. Can we mess with these TVs at all? No? What's in here? Looks like an area where they were doing more tests. This place down here gives me the creeps. Seems like I'm not exactly sure what was going on down here. Human experimentations happening? We can unlock this door with the black side guard key. Really interesting. And it seems like the people who were kept down here were kept in cells. We unlocked this one with the key that we found over at Huntersville. And then we can unlock this one now. Nothing out of the ordinary in there. I believe uh, one of these contains a cap stash every now and then. It might have been the one that we unlocked with the Huntersville key. But I'm not exactly positive about that. Whatever was happening down here, they definitely wanted to keep a secret. Because they have guards set up. And it was underneath a facility. Like it wasn't just a regular jailhouse, you know? Seems like whatever was happening here, the scientists or whatever were able to check out the rooms from right here. No. But yeah, I guess that's what wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully something was new to you in this video about Fallout 76. And uh, yeah, feel free to come here and explore yourself around in this area. And I would love to know some of the new things that you just recently discovered while playing the game. Maybe uh, it'll be something new to someone that's reading the comments in the video. Or maybe it'll be something new to me. I'll be checking out the comments in this video just to see what you all have to say about the simulation theory and just what you guys have discovered during your playtime. Maybe I'll learn something new. But yeah, I'm out of here, everybody. Hopefully you all found this enjoyable. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.